Hey guys, welcome to a new series on the channel. If you're new to the channel, of course, my name is Juicy Pixel, and we will start um, playing on the new Eridor server, started by SZ Petty, who you may know from the VisaCraft server. Uh, this is someone's house. I'm actually a spawn at the moment. I don't actually own my own house. So I think today we're going to look for an area. We need to go through the basic setup of uh, you know acquiring ourselves some resources as you can see I don't actually have much on me apart from some basic stone tools and I don't even have any um any armor which kind of sucks uh, there's kind of some plugins involved in the server but it is kind of close to uh, a vanilla as possible but there are some stuff thrown in that will uh, help oh we can sleep there we go so, as you can see there, even though I was only in bed, it, it takes 50% of the members of the server to actually be in the bed for it to reset day. Um, there's no natural health regeneration, so um, I do require gold or healing potions to do that, but that's no problem at all. But uh, my expectations for this new series is that um, I'm not going to hardcore it like I did on the VisaCraft server. Um, I just kind of go at my own pace. We're going to adventure. We're going to build things. Um, I'm not going to start off by saying something like, Let's build a castle, which will take the next 200 episodes because, um, you know, the server might have a, a few restarts. So I'm only going to do quaint builds and uh, focus more on community stuff. I think that uh, the VisaCraft server... I don't want to. I don't really want to talk about that. But just to say that the Visa Craft server was kind of community at the beginning, and the community kind of stopped logging on. But on here, the community is very active. Um, Petty, who owns the server, he's he's on top of it, and he likes to make sure that um, you know how the server's going. And we are doing regular meetings. Okay, so this is spawn time. Um, I don't know everyone on here. I know Blue Echo is on here. Nemson is on here. Paddy, of course. Uh, Rike, who is uh, Paddy's girlfriend, who I've met um, through the VisaCraft server. And uh, some other people I know of, who, but I haven't been acquainted with properly. So there's going to be many opportunities um, for me to get to know the other guys on here. But as you can see, there are some nice builders on here. And uh, this spawn town is coming along nicely. Uh, this is Nemson's work in progress. It's a town hall, but I think um, it's opened for people to help with. So as you can see, they're going to be building town hall underground, which is, you know, really different roof of town hall. So the town hall is... Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so as you can see, town hall is full of uh, nasties at the moment, but it's going to be underground, which is kind of... Uh, kind of unusual, so I'm kind of uh, <laughs> I'm interested to see how that turns out. But uh, today we're gonna find a cave, um, probably find some sheep to make a bed, and do a kind of I wouldn't even know how to describe it. Probably something like a beginner's shack. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you about random things because that's what I usually do in these kinds of videos. And, uh, you know, kind of chill out and have a, a whale of a time and try not to die. So, as you can see, my health is down a little bit. So, if we do go caving today, which I'm going to try and do, uh, we may actually run into some issues where I might die. But, yeah, I, I've been looking around here for some areas to potentially build um, a long-term house... I'm kind of thinking into the future, and I'm thinking maybe to build a house at spawn because I'll contribute towards uh, the development around here and uh, do a spawn project, but in the long run, actually have um, a base of my own out in the wilderness, not too far away. There are some set rules, like don't build um, your base, which is in view of someone else's base and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. Um, I do like that a lot. Um, you know, there's plenty of room for expansion then, but this this just roam around for a little bit. I'm assuming that a lot of the caves and the spawn are probably um, already taken up. 
I can hear Zomble. This is kind of squarish right by here. What's the chances that there's a spawner like right here? I can hear a zomble. No, it's just sandstone. Oh! How many zombies are there? I can hear. I think it's just the one zomble, but as you can see, that's kind of squarish there, so. I know some surface spawners are more open, but if there's a lot of sand on that spawner... I'm not saying that there's a spawner there, but if there is a lot of sand on that spawner... There could be a spawner there. We need some coal, though. But I have made some charcoal, because... Um, I have been needing food. So we got those. I don't think there would be anything much in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a creeper in there too, but he's Blow up! Oh no, he's aggro! No! Okay, I think he's chilled out now. I think he is chilled out. I'm not going to look at him. There is a bit of a glitch down here. Okay, so I've kind of broken the... the roof off here. I'm so sorry to anyone. And I haven't died yet. Um, it actually has got, it's got your deaths on here. So as you can see, it's zero, 0 And I'm kind of thinking that today's episode may involve me dying. I can actually see a skeleton there, so let's just grab this iron. <laughs> I think we're gonna we're gonna wussy out and kind of go back to the surface and go back to spawn town. That Enderman kind of owned me. But the creeper did a bit of damage to leave me alone. I'm new here. I don't, don't treat people like that. I know I'm from a different country, but you must respect my differences. Another thing is that you can't intentionally suicide to regain health too, which, you know, it kind of makes the challenge a bit harder. And obviously killing yourself is a bit... You know, to just get your health back is a bit noobish. I could do with this. I'm just, <laughs> just grabbing everything, man. I'm just poor. I need random things. To, that's what I need. Um, I know Nemson's got a tree farm back at spawn. It's gonna help out. I know there's a health shop too uh, that sells potions, but unfortunately the stocks have run out there. So um, yeah. And it's, uh, the potions are on a donation system, so um, I don't really have much to donate. But if there were some potions there, I would probably uh, leave an IOU, possibly. Just until I got a little bit of, a bit of finances. There's a zombie down there, too. I'm assuming that this place is quite heavily heavy with mobs at night because of all the, the spawn chunks being lit up. Sand quarry down here. So there's a designated sand quarry too. How far is it? Sand quarry. That moment when you press control instead of shift and run into a hole. How many people have done that before when you're like, kind of like, huh? But you go, whoa, and you just hit shift totally by accident, and you, you're just going over the edge. That's one that, That's one thing I did quite often, especially when, uh, especially when the, the update with that was added. So here's the sand quarry. And uh, this says... Why am I falling off the edge when I'm holding shift? I can't read that. 
Morgan Morgandia's property. This is my chest, leave it alone. Okay. So yeah, yeah, this is the sand quarry. I think we should head back though. Oh, I'm gonna be in so much trouble now. It's night time. I wonder if the other guy on the server is gonna sleep. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a grind. How much iron did I actually collect? What was that sound? It was almost alien to me. Oh yay, they went to bed. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, that's cool. That was a lifesaver. So I've been recording for 10 minutes now, so let's go for another 5 minutes. Let's go for another gander around here. Uh, probably best if I didn't kill this random cow. So, yeah, there's some people. I was making a reference to them sleeping. I think that might have been obvious. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the regen shops here. There is no stock in these, unfortunately. Please donate health for free. But you can't go into my shop and put hoppers under my chests. Free health for efficiency. Please take free at a time. And uh, this is another property here. Yummy healthy cakes and cookies. Well, I couldn't possibly afford that at the moment. There's a chicken shop right there. Um, where is this? So two. Two, two diamonds or 10 14 gold ingots or 10 14 gold ingots what two diamonds for projectile protection and then this is a cobweb shop up here actually so this would be handy for chimneys and stuff like that Uh, payments cobweb so it's 20 for one diamond which is a bargain well not a bargain it's on the ball that's how much uh, 20 diamond 20 cobwebs would be worth oh is this Nemson's place here I remember watching his last video actually so he's making like a tree farm business here I hope he doesn't mind me coming in here so yeah he's gonna be sounding types of wood and where the trees are grown are down here. Very nice. And then there's like a large farm area just down over here. Let's just leave this place. Just leave this desolate island. So yeah, it's a farm down here. There's never wart for days. Reeds. You know, all the different types of... Uh, um, produce you get. Oh, look, there's so many rabbits. There's, this, there's even a, a swimming rabbit, too. And there's a bridge going off here. So, yeah, there there's a lot of development here. So, I need to get my teeth stuck in. So, I think that's going to be it for today. Yeah, I'm skipping over my words because it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been up all night. I've actually got a delivery today. There's a door missing here. I think this is Paddy's house, actually. There's a door missing right here. All these different item frames actually make me a little bit scared. I mean, it feels really scary. It reminds me of Hexit when you would go to, like, a gravestone and sometimes, like, armor and stuff would come out and start trying to attack you so yeah um let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the series um nothing too big and too uh time consuming um i'm gonna take my time on the server and just enjoy it uh get involved with the community and uh, i'm i'm really gonna like throw no expectations for this um series on the channel uh i'm just gonna go with the flow build stuff and react to your guys feedback so i want to say thanks for watching 
Um, I know we didn't do much, but I you almost I almost captured my first death on camera for you. So I think the next time I'm gonna record, I'm probably gonna log in, and uh, we'll start off from where we are actually. Maybe I don't know. What do you think? Maybe let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Shall I record when I log in, or shall I just do some stuff and then? show you guys what I've been doing. As you can see I'm proper hobo. I'm literally walking around with the kitchen sink with me. Yay! Juicy Pixels just got a hard on. I mean hardware. <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. It's been great. If you're new to the channel of course make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay on top of the content. And it'll be delivered to the house subscription box. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. So peace out.